Hello, it's Roger here with another unboxing video for you. Today I've got another Hoover product, quite low down in the range. This is a Hoover Smart Pet Upright Bagless Vacuum Cleaner. Um, it retails around the £80 mark, that sort of price normally. So it's um, at the lower budget end of the range. But I got this, and this is why I was tempted, I got this for £39.50 brand new from Tesco Direct, uh, currently at the time of making this video in May 2013, I got it 39.50. So for that, it's a bargain. So I'm going to see what this is like. I've never had um, a Hoover bagless cleaner that doesn't use the cyclonic technology. This um, has the filter in the bin. So we'll see. It doesn't have a multi-cyclone. I think it's, it'll be a single cyclonic type action. Um, it'll be interesting because despite the low price it gets fairly good reviews from a lot of people give it four out of five. Some people even give it five out of five. So for a basic cleaner it seems to do well. The main gripes are the short cord and the short hose. But you really even when you're paying £80 you expect to have corners cut. But when you're paying under £40 I can live with it. So let's let's get this open and see what's inside. I think there will be um, some assembly to do. All right, just cut open the top, and the model number is SM nineteen o one. It's a nineteen hundred watt cleaner, and the colour is purple, white, and amethyst, and purple slash purple transparent. And, of course, it's made in the People's Republic of China. Right, first thing we have is Hoover's European Guarantee. This will just have a standard one-year parts and labour guarantee. Sorry for that blip. Obviously, I had to answer the door. It always seems to happen when I'm making a video. But two items have arrived. Be out of breath. <laughs> Shouldn't run up the stairs. Two items have arrived that I'll be unboxing later. One is another Hoover product, and one, I can't bear to say it, begins with a D and ends in an N. Oh dear. Well, I'll just quickly show you now. I've got this Hoover Steam Jet uh, Steam Mop, which gets good reviews um, from what I've seen. People think uh, it's quite good. Normally, this started out about £130. I got it for 58 brand new and boxed. It was reduced and then I got extra discounts. So I thought for £58, and it's I do need a new steam up. The one I've got was only very, very cheap. So that's for unboxing and a demo to follow. Also, because it was on offer, again, I got discount as well. It's still expensive. Is this... Yes, it's a Dyson DC24 exclusive. Um, I believe the exclusive thing is it comes with a um, dusting brush, the long dusting brush. I'm hoping it comes with that. And I'll be explaining why I've chosen a Dyson um, when I do the video. So, I've succumbed to Dyson. I've had many Dysons in the past and sold them. I've, I've had a DC24 in the past, but the regular all floors model so I do know what it's about, that machine, and I have got it, apart from it being cheap, I've got a specific reason I wanted it for, and I'll tell you about that later. Right, back to the video. We've got the instruction book, which I might have to glance at, depending on how much um, assembly there is. Incidentally, the chap delivering the vacuum and the steam I, th I think, you know, delivery drivers, oh, they can't possibly remember what they deliver, but obviously he's bought me quite a few vacuum cleaners recently. And uh, he said, oh, are you selling them? He's Polish, I believe, or Lithuanian. So I said, oh, I said, yes, I, I review them on YouTube and then sell them on. Which is partly true. I do review them on YouTube. I sometimes sell them on. Sometimes I don't. This part, I don't know what that's about. It's something to do with... The, I think that, that's the tool holding the um, turbo brush on the handle. Speaking of the turbo brush, 
Here we have it in translucent purple. Pretty standard soft brushes. Um, or Hoover call it a pet hair remover. So that's that. Bit of cardboard. Here's, here's the handle. And um, it's quite nice, quite, it feels quite strong. And that's in a uh, very nice white, white finish with the Hoover logo there on the front. And a little sticker saying, let us help. Please do not take me back to the shop. No, don't. That's the handle. Now I think it's time for the main vacuum cleaner to come out of the box. Come out, come out! Whee! That's it, everything's out now. There we go. Now, in the box also we have this dusting tool, although it's more like a scrubbing brush. I wouldn't want to dust anything delicate with that. And it's one of these two-in-one jobbies, so it will slide off, I assume. Yep. Slides off to be a, a small nozzle for your upholstery. So that's that. It's also on board an extension tube plus your, your crevice tool for getting in your nooks, a nice long crevice tool and of course you can fit that direct to the tube. That closes like that and then that fits on board. So here we have, let's just take the flex out of the bag and take the protector off the plug and take the tie cord off the flex. Now, this is something you don't expect on a basic cleaner. It's got the little cord grip here built in to keep the cord secure. So that's a nice little feature. So, here we have it. The Hoover Smart. Now, it doesn't seem to be much assembly. It just seems to be a question of putting the handle on. So, might as well do that now. There's one screw. I haven't got a screwdriver handy so I'll just do it roughly but judging by the the head of the screw it does seem that you can actually do that with a with a coin. So I'm just gonna pop the handle on, pop the screw in, hand tighten it for now. But that's it, that's it for assembly. Ah, the only other thing, I assume, is to attach this piece. But to me, well, there is a little way to put it on. It, it, to me, it makes the machine look a bit untidy. I don't know. Let's have a look. How does it go on? Just thinking. Should really check the instructions. It certainly goes on at the front. I think it goes... Somehow, oh. no, this, oh, no, it goes this way on, doesn't it? That's it. There we are. Oh, so that's that's easy enough to do. And then I've got it. That's it. Well, that very simple. That doesn't seem that won't fall off. I don't think that's that seems quite secure. But if you don't want to have that on, it's easy enough to um, leave off or remove if you don't think you're going to be using this nozzle very much. But as it's sold for pet owners, probably that's one of the features uh, you wanted to see in the machine. Right, what I'm going to do now is uh, take a little guided tour of the cleaner. And uh, we'll just see how this super smart 1900 watt pet bagless upright model measures up to the competition. Right, here we have the smart upright from Hoover 
unboxed and assembled. And like I say, very easy to assemble. No tools because I did, I've tightened up the screw now and all you need is a coin, a one pence piece or a two pence piece. Uh, so you don't, you don't even need a screwdriver. Most people will have some loose change lying around the house just to tighten that screw. So, out of the box and actually touching it, I've never seen one out of the box. I've just seen them boxed up at my local Asda. I've never actually seen one out. But, you know, touching it, it, it doesn't seem that bad. It seems fairly robust. The plastic seems quite good. You know, it's... I think for the money, even for £80, providing it works for well, uh, it's it seems very good. I don't think it'll have HEPA, no. There's no HEPA filter at this price point. But um, that doesn't really concern me. Well, let's take a little tour. Here's the handle. And at the top of the handle you've got a little clip there. Because the flex exits quite low down, right down there, it's useful to have a little clip to keep the, the flex out of the way. I always remember um, an instruction book for an Electrolux 502 showed the correct way of using the machine and, and holding the flex to one side. But uh, also I remember another um, vacuum brochure recommending you put the flex over your shoulder. So for people that complain um, about the lead coming out of the bottom of the machine and, and it getting trip, you know, they're tripping over it. If it doesn't have a clip up here, then just put it over your shoulder and that keeps it out of the way. So that's what that clip's for. We have the onboard turbo brush, a little bit of dust there. At the top we have the bin release and there's the carry handle there which built into the bin so Let's release the bin. Comes off easily. That's where all the dirt comes into the bin. No, or is it? No. And that's where the dirt gets into the bin. That's where the suction comes from, from the motor. So here we have the bin. Um, now this is the type, and it is cyclonic. So the dust will spin round, but it isn't a multi-cyclonic cleaner, so this machine will rely more on the filter than, say, a Dyson or some other multi-cyclonic cleaner, like some of the Vax, and indeed some Hoover models, the Evolution models. So this will require more maintenance if you want it to last and to keep working. To empty, we've got a little latch here which you just flick like that when it's over the bin to empty the dirt out and there is a filter say a pleated mesh well pleated uh, paper filter and under a mesh shroud some of the earlier bagless cleaners didn't even have this mesh part so the pleated filter got very very dirty very quickly but at least having this mesh it prevents the larger debris from sticking to the filter and that comes off as a unlock so you can twist that off um, and assume you can rinse that under the tap and it is, sorry, it is a HEPA filter that says it there it just doesn't have a HEPA filter to exit so obviously Hoover classing that as a HEPA filter so on to the bin it goes get it in the right position, there'll be a knack, that's it, hang on, there we go, that's it, just need to twist to lock, that's locked in place, and pop that back on, obviously I've not switched it on, some people have said it's loud and I'm expecting it to be loud, how loud we will have to wait and see. So no, it's no no final HEPA filter, just a thin uh, fabric or felt filter there. And obviously that's where the motor air exhausts out of. So it all seems quite straightforward. But yeah, it is, the plastic does seem f 
fairly good, I must say. Right, here we have carpet care control. Intensive carpet clean, so that'll be at the very lowest setting, and I think you'll find probably most people will use it on that setting all the time. Then we've got short carpet and hard floor, medium carpet, long carpet, and the highest setting, luxury carpet, and when using the cleaning tools. In the old days, that highest setting was often called shag. Yes, shag pile was all the rage in the 70s. So, I'll probably, yes, have it on intensive or possibly that setting. There's no furniture guard to speak of, it's just all moulded into the one piece of plastic. So there's nothing really to protect the cleaner or your furniture if you if you knock it in to the walls or anything. But the thing is, just be a bit more careful when you're vacuuming. Foot operated on a switch, you've got wheels at the back, two wheels at the back. And the other side says release. Looking at the back of the cleaner, of course you've got the cord storage. Both the hooks will turn, you don't have to turn them both, you can just turn one of them to release all the cable. I might as well do that now I've done it. So I can just release the whole cable there. You've got your small combined dusting brush and small uh, all-purpose upholstery nozzle built in on the back there. And on the side you've got your extension tube and your crevice tool nestled inside that and the hose, which isn't stretchy and no, isn't very long at all. At least it does swivel, that's good, it does swivel. So this is fine, this hose will be fine for doing your upholstery, but certainly will not reach up the stairs. There's no way that will only get up about four or five stairs so it's not suitable really for stair cleaning because the hose doesn't stretch. I believe there are similar models, a similar basic model shape, uh, body shape to this, that have a longer hose. But I expected that, I mean it's a cheap price point. It seems light, very light, so it would be possible to hold the cleaner in one hand and then use the hose end in the other. So. That's the downside. The hose is short, and this is what people have said in reviews, the hose is quite short, as is the cable. So if you live in a smaller house, or especially a house, a bungalow, no stairs to clean, but you still need the facility of a hose to do your upholstery and your nooks and crannies, then this probably will fit the biscuit. Fit the biscuit. Fit the bill. Cut the mustard. Where have I got biscuit from? I don't know. What's the saying about biscuit? I don't know what it is. I don't know what I'm talking about. There we go, little doodah saying buy original Hoover consumable spares online at www.hoover.co.uk or call that number. And you're guaranteed of 100% Hoover quality, which uh, is a bit laughable. Now, forgotten how, but how the hose went on. No, it doesn't go that way first, it goes underneath first, then it goes it goes under and then over. And then of course you have to make sure that that is plugged into there when you're cleaning carpets, otherwise you'll have no suction. Last thing, well, two things to show you. I'll just show you the rating plate. So it's Hoover model SM1901, and there's a serial made in PLC. So it's a maximum 1900 watt, 17 to 1900 watt. So let's uh, release the handle and have a look underneath. I've never seen the underneath of one of these cleaners, so it's interesting. I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's it's far better than I expected it to be in build quality. You know, it's not up there with a the Sibo or Miele, but you know, for this price point, it's not bad. You've got 
two wheels here at the front. That obviously moves up and down according to what setting you've got the machine on. And obviously they've, they've made it as simple as possible so it's easy to manufacture um, and as less parts as possible. Now these brushes, I like the look of this agitator. It's a bit hard to see there, turn it to the light a bit. You know, it's a good sort of chevron design and relatively stiff brushes. They're not really soft and wimpy like you get on some machines. And edge cleaning, I would say, is, would be pretty poor really. If we look here, the brushes aren't even flared outwards like you, you'd get on many cleaners. They're still they're sticking straight up instead of being flared slightly. So you've got a good knocking on for an inch there. Um, about one and a half centimetres. Well, it's not quite an inch then. So maybe three quarters of an inch gap between the skirting board or baseboard as you'd say in America but there are some su two suction channels so it might you'll get some suction up to the edge so that's that so there we go that's the Hoover Smart Cyclonic Bagless Upright Vacuum Cleaner with turbo pet brush. I'll do a demonstration of this um, another time. I've just unboxed it because I've got some more cleaners to unbox for you today. And uh, also we don't have any electricity all day because they're doing some work outside. So obviously I can't demonstrate it. I've just realized <laughs> I was just going to switch it on and show you it going. But I can't even do that because we've got no power. So while my battery is lasting on my camcorder, it's okay. But when both batteries go, I'll have to stop my recording. So that's it for the unboxing and brief introduction to this machine. But first impressions, obviously I've not used it, but easy to assemble. Seems quite robust. And for under £40, if you can get it for that, it seems to be a bargain. But... Uh, We'll have to see how it performs, because if it doesn't pick up very well, it's not a bargain. But if it cleans well, or relatively well, for somebody with, with not much cash to spare that needs a new cleaner, it could fit the bill. So stay tuned, I'll be uploading a demo video as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you want to see any more videos straight off the presses. You'll get uh, a message in your inbox when I upload any new videos. See you soon. Bye for now.